Well, good afternoon and, and welcome to everybody. I'm Kevin Shakespeare. I'm the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Research and Innovation at the Open University. And by the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this congregation open for the conferment of degrees and the presentation of graduates. Distinguished guests, graduates, family and friends, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the second of the Open University's degree ceremonies held in 2024. And a special welcome to our honorary graduate, Mr. Michael Ohajuru. We are delighted to be able to honor you today. Each year, the Open University awards a range of qualifications that you've all worked so hard for, from certificates of higher education to doctorates. For more than 50 years, the Open University has been presenting graduates for their qualifications at ceremonies like the one we're going to enjoy today. For my colleagues, and certainly for me, these ceremonies are highlights of our year because we love celebrating your successes. The ceremonies are held throughout England, throughout Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland. You're graduating today from the largest university in Europe with an extraordinary scale, scope, and reach. Our success is down to what you, as our graduates, go on to achieve. It's not just the qualification that you're being richly deservingly presented with today, but the difference you'll go on to make with what you've learned in your time at the Open University. So it goes without saying that today is a very important occasion in the life for you, our graduates, your family, loved ones, as well as the university and all my colleagues, who I hope you will feel have nurtured and supported you on your journey. <clears throat> now you'll be forgiven for thinking that today is an occasion so important that we need to be solemn, and you'd be quite wrong in that. In every sense, this is a huge celebration. So we really hope that you enjoy um, your experience um, up here. Um, when our graduates come along, we're hoping for huge applause. Uh, feel free to celebrate in any way you want. Um, cheers and shouts are most, are most welcome. Um, and, and, and to the graduates, please do enjoy the journey across the stage. I hope we don't look too scary. We're actually a really nice bunch um, up here. And, and genuinely, this is, this is a real pleasure for us. We really get so much um, out, of, out of today. Um, so what I'd like to do, first of all, is ask um, our graduates who are able to do so, could you just please stand, please, all of the, the graduates um, for today. Thank you very much. So we're going to do a first celebration to you as a group. So could I ask families, friends, and Open University colleagues, colleagues. Let's start today's ceremony by giving all of our amazing graduates a huge round of applause. That's fantastic. You've got a lot of clapping to do today, so I hope you haven't gone too early there with that. But graduates, could you please, could you please sit down? Um, so more ways you can show your appreciation today. We love sharing our ceremonies with the wider world. So if you are posting messages on your chosen social media or any photos, if you can put the hashtag OUFamily on, lots of people out there that have been part of the OU and that love the OU like to follow and, and celebrate um, along um, with you. So today's ceremony is going to begin with the presentation of those graduates who have gained higher degrees and first degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Laws. They will be um, presented by Mr. Matt Staples, Director of Teaching in the School of Social Sciences and Global Studies. We will then see the um, awarding of the honorary degree of Doctor of the University to Michael Ohajuru. Um, Dr. Carla uh, Benzan, lecturer in art history in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences 
uh, will make the presentation and uh, Mr. Ahajura will sign the honorary graduates book and make a reply. Then we're going to continue with some more celebrations when we present graduates who have gained their Bachelor of Science degrees, Foundation degrees and Diplomas of Higher Education. And then I'll conclude today's ceremony and celebration with a final address to our new graduates. So I now call upon Mr. Staples to present our graduates. Pro Vice-Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to attend here today. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, I present to you for a thesis entitled The Contact Hypothesis and the Virtual Revolution, How Online Contact Experiences Are Shaping Intergroup Attitudes, Julian Bond. For a thesis entitled, Negotiating Identity, How Elite Athlete Mothers Navigate Their Journey Through Sport, I present Candice Lingam Wilgos. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Highly Symmetric Embeddings of Graphs on Surfaces, I present Olivia Reed. <laughs> for a thesis entitled Valuing Low Carbon Energy Insights for Fusion Commercialization, I present David Webb Wood. I present to you, for a degree of Master of Arts in Art History, Lynn Colley. <laughs> Morgan Phillips. Yes. <laughs> Catherine Saunders. Gemma Wood. For the degree of Master of Arts in Childhood and Youth, I present Alexandra Hopper. Donna Saunders. Carol Webster. For the degree of Master of Arts in Classical Studies, I present Alexandra Benningson. Catherine Inns. Susan Vincent. <laughs> Catherine Weatherall. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, I present 
Rachel Calloway. <laughs> Alistair Fear. <laughs> Alice Kirby. <laughs> Catherine Payne. Jessica Petrie. <laughs> Margaret Rochford. <laughs> Victoria Seeger. <laughs> Tony Thresher. Alexander Vidovich. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Crime and Justice, I present Claire Harper. <laughs> Amy Kelland. For the degree of Master of Arts in Education, I present Emma Catlow. <laughs> Tanya Jackson. <laughs> Donna Mason. For the degree of Master of Arts in Music, I present Kirsty von Millais. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts Open, I present Sarah Laws. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Philosophy, I present Keris Borthwick. Kate Hamer. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Business Administration, I present Laura Griggs. <laughs> Carla Honeybun. Kieran O'Malley. <laughs> William Welsh. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Leadership Practice, I present Julie Mason. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Technology Management, I present husband and wife, Stephen and Emily Cohen. Henry Kikoyo. <laughs> Oliver Scott. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Education, I present Abby Ball.
Amanda Clegg. Sarah Roberts. Daniel Simpson. Mike Wardle. For the degree of Master of Science in Cybersecurity, I present John Pirry. For the degree of Master of Science in Engineering, I present Jamie Stewart. For the degree of Master of Science in Finance, I present Chris Burns. For the degree of Master of Science in Forensic Psychological Studies, I present Gabriella Hodge. Nonka Mangaliso. For the degree of Master of Science in Human Resource Management, I present Akila Ahmed Jaman. Emily Davy. Julia Matola. Tony Williams. For the degree of Master of Science in Mathematics, I present John Caswell. For the degree of Master of Science in Mental Health Science, I present Leslie Olney. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Psychology, I present Rachel Adams. Karen Holmes. Victoria Kreuter. Fiona Mitchell. Georgia Blue Townsend. For the degree of Master of Science in Systems Thinking in Practice, I present Liz Paulson. Pro Vice Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Laws degrees, and have been able to attend here today. The full subject details are printed in the insert within the ceremony programme. I present to you, for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Rita Akola. Ashrika and Jatha Kumar. <laughs> David Amu.
Benjamin Anthony. Daniel Armstrong. Mariam Bakhtiar. Rebecca Benfield. Emma Berry. Olivia Blakow. Isabel Booth Downs. Patra Byrne. Thomas Chagar. Megan Chambers. <laughs> Hannah Clark. <laughs> Billy Cockle. <laughs> Barry Coglin. Fran Coots. <laughs> Daphne Coward. <laughs> Louis Curl. <laughs> Carla Dalton. Frank Daly. <laughs> Dina Daniel. <laughs> William Davies. <laughs> Amy Delaney. Brunhilde Diederichs. <laughs> Lucian Domican. <laughs> Lara Diane. Brownie Egan. <laughs> Jack Evans. Sharon Everest. Reese Falconer. Sabrina Figueredo Mooney. <laughs> Victoria Fryer. <laughs> Judith Grant. Paris Grant. <laughs> Eloise Green.
Gavin Groves. Lauren Gurney. Carolyn Hader. Amanda Hames. Jace Hammond. Laura Henderson. Bashi Hikaduaj. Luke Humphreys. Elva James Galloway. Gosha Janik. Rainbow Jones. Robert Judges. Elisaveta Kasakova. Ryan Leader. Jasmine Lindley. Ellie Martin. Francesca Martin. Sarah Maxwell. Carl May. Jamie McDermott. Caitlin McAvoy. Sophie McPadden. Arturo Mezamora. Ella Middleton. Victoria Miles Gale. Cassandra Moore. Carol Moran. Heather Morris. Luba Mortimer Jones. Robert Moss. Mary Amma Musa. Rio Nanton. Rianne Nelson. (laughs) 
Nicola Ord. Melanie Pease. Catherine Potter Clark. Nathan Rattray. Clara Sanchez Perez. Alberta Senya. Marianne Charlotte. Dale Shaw. Georgia Simons. Ty Sisyphan. Matthew Smith. Rajveer Sohal. Bradley Strevens. Lewis Talbot. Matt Walker. Trinity Weston. George Whiting. Lauren Wilkes Murphy. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, I present Elliot Brooke Freeman. Chris Bunchuk. Daniel Conway. Daniel Cooper. Pierce Edwards. Sean Grundy. Samim Halimi. Carton Hawkson. Timothy Henderson Dyer. Alex Jeffrey. <laughs> Richard Melvin. <laughs> Matthew Roberts. Charlotte Robinson. Josh Taylor. And for the degree of Bachelor of Laws, I present Paula Hamamine.
Terence Liu. Gain and Neveling. Rhiannon Rennie. And Marcia Rossi McCusker. Pro Vice Chancellor, colleagues, graduates, and guests. Michael Ohaduru is a pioneering historian whose research has transformed both scholarly and public understandings of black British history. Born in Liverpool, Michael studied physics at the University of Leeds before a long and successful career in mobile communications. Approaching retirement, he returned to higher education and studied art history at the Open University. Here he became interested in the figure of the Black Magus, a black king frequently depicted in representations of the adoration of the infant Jesus, and that of St. Maurice, a black Roman centurion. Since graduating, Michael has become a leading expert on depictions of black African people in the art of Renaissance Europe. I became acquainted with Michael's research when we presented papers at the same academic conference in 2021 where he spoke passionately and persuasively about the historical significance of John Blank, a trumpeter in the court of Henry VII and VIII, and the first person of African descent in, British, in Britain whose life is documented in both art and archive. He is a senior fellow at the Institute of Commonwealth Studies based within the School of Advanced Study in the University of London. He is the co-convener of a long-standing seminar series examining what's happening in black British history. This brings together historians, heritage professionals, educationalists, and policymakers to showcase and support new research into the history of people of African descent in Britain. At the same time, Michael has become one of Britain's most influential public historians. In 2015, he founded the John Blank Project that invites artists and historians to respond creatively to Blank's presence. This pioneering project shaped curatorial practices and public understanding of British history. It has been referenced in the National Portrait Gallery's John Blank display in the Tudor Gallery and on the National Portrait Gallery website. Making connections between past and present has resulted in a dazzling array of artistic and scholarly work some of which was recently showcased at the Walker Gallery in the National Museum in Liverpool as part of a major exhibition entitled The Tudors, Passion, Power, and Politics. Michael describes how the project connects history and imagination in a chapter for Gretchen Gerzina's recent book, Britain's Black Past. Michaels also founded the Image of the Black in London Galleries, which introduces visitors to representations of black people and the diversity of their lives in the capital's major collections, the National Gallery, the Tate Gallery, the Wallace Collection, and the Victoria and Albert Museum. He's presented his work at leading museums and galleries, including the National Archives, the British Library, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. He's the co-author of the forthcoming Guide to Black London, introducing readers to black history in the capital and a contributor to the Future Learn course entitled Black Tutors, the Untold Story. Few historians working today have done more to advance knowledge and understanding of black British history and art history. We are proud of the part that the Open University has played in Michael's career and humbled, truly humbled by all he has accomplished.
It is a great honor to celebrate the incredible impact of his ongoing work to uncover and champion a richer, more diverse and inclusive understanding of our shared past. Pro Vice Chancellor, by the authority of the Senate, I present to you for the honorary degree of Doctor of the University, Michael Ohajuru. Thank you, presiding officers, colleagues, graduates, and guests. Receiving this honorary, grad, honorary doctorate from the Open University, an institution that has played such a pivotal role in my Black British history journey, is an honor and a privilege. My path from a career in mobile communications to a passion for, the black, British history, for, for black British history was unconventional, yet it's driven, been driven by an insatiable curiosity about stories untold and representations unseen. Embarking on the humanities studies at the Open University in 2005 as I prepared for my retirement was a pivotal moment for me. Nurturing my ability to critically engage with art and history while leveraging my imagination to forge new understandings and perspectives. The OU experience taught me the, the critical thinking skills necessary to question establish narratives and envision new and different possibilities and realities. Today, this is derisively called being woke. The Open University equipped me with tools to embrace being unashamedly woke. It prepared me to challenge established narratives and envision those fresh possibilities and realities, embodying what it truly means to be woke in the most positive sense, aware, questioning and forward thinking. My passion for the black presence in Renaissance art was sparked by my final year essay on the black magus figure in an early 16th century uh, panel, panel painting from a church in rural Devon. That curiosity blossomed into a broader exploration, notably into the life of John Blank, the black Tudor trumpeter to the courts of Henry VII and Henry VIII. Through my projects like the John Blank Project and the Image of the Black in London Galleries, I've sought to bridge the gap between historical scholarship and public engagement, showcasing the rich cultural diversity of our past. These initiatives have not only highlighted the importance of black individuals to our history, but have also emphasized the role of public history in making these narratives accessible to all. It's a reminder of how history, art, and education can come together to foster a more inclusive understanding of our shared heritage. Special thanks must go to my tutors at the Open University, whose guidance was invaluable, and to my fellow students, some of whom have become lifelong friends. And thanks to my partner, Ebu, and to my friends and family, especially those with a humanities background, and they know who they are. Their patience and insight was essential in helping me to transition from a scientific mindset to one that could cope with humanity's even-handedness. This on the one hand and yet on the other. Unlike science, which most times is one-handed. Your support was crucial in weaving the rich tapestry of knowledge that I now, uh, now hold dear, blending science and the humanities. Now as I look to the future, my hope is to continue this work, uncovering and celebrating the contributions of black individuals in Britain's history. Through continued research, education, and engagement, we can ensure that these important stories are not only acknowledged, but celebrated. But just before I finish, I want to say a few words to you graduating today. I urge you to stay woke, to be aware, keep questioning, and stay forward, forward thinking 
These are fundamental OU attitudes. And I will finish by saying I'm humbled, truly humbled by this recognition and so grateful for this opportunity to combine the Cubana field, which has the power to change our understanding of our history and ourselves. I thank, I thank you once again for this incredible honor. Pro Vice-Chancellor, continuing the presentation of graduates, I shall now present those who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees, Foundation degrees and Diplomas of Higher Education and have been able to attend here today. The full subject details are printed in the insert within the ceremony programme. I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Luella Adamson. Eleanor Andre Lagrange. <laughs> Helen Argiru. <laughs> Naomi Ashton. <laughs> Robert Bailey. Sarah Behrens. Arun Bari. Melanie Bricknell. Kieran Bryan. Lucky Akhtar. John Bushnell. Devin Carter. Derek Klukas. Ian Crosby. <laughs> Irvin Densu. <laughs> Lorraine Doyle. <laughs> Rebecca Draper. David Ellis. <laughs> Vishal Etwa. <laughs> Amina Farah. <laughs> Megan Fletcher. Neil Fraser. Christopher Gale. Scott Gilman.
James Goulden. Christopher Gray. Hayley Gray. Alana Hagen. Theodore Hamelberg. Caroline Hancock. Nicholas Harewood. <laughs> Charlotte Hazelman Udit. Andrea Hernandez. Robert Hill. Jack Howes. Aaron Jellis. Sarah Johnson. Laura Kerrin. <laughs> David Cooling. <laughs> Sana Latif. <laughs> Eleanor Leggett. Meg Leaney. <laughs> Alexander Leslie. <laughs> Asma Mahmood. <laughs> Deborah Mallon. Chloe Martin. <laughs> Tanya Martins. <laughs> Elaine McKeon. <laughs> Stephanie Middlehurst. Charlotte Moore. <laughs> Matty Nedelku. <laughs> Alex Nicholas. <laughs> Kevin O'Flaherty. Isaac Ogunlade. <laughs> Nia Paris. <laughs> Victoria Payne. <laughs> Nalida Pedro Moati.
Sophie Pepper. Aziz Pereira. Louise Power. Natasha Powles. Susanna Puskakova. J.D. Rate. <laughs> Christian Rees. <laughs> Rachel Rubin. <laughs> Steve Richards. George Robinson. <laughs> Hubert Rogala Harach. <laughs> Julianne Rogoski. <laughs> Abby Sampson. Tyler Sango Ishmael. <laughs> Julia Skowki. <laughs> Jacqueline Sherlock. <laughs> Alfie Souter. Mark Stelfox. <laughs> Nicholas Stewart. <laughs> Gary Surtees. <laughs> Stephen Telford. Sarah Thomas. <laughs> Rupert Thurlow. <laughs> Lucy Toman. <laughs> Sylvia Turnbull. Joseph Turton. <laughs> Luciano Venturini. <laughs> Daniel Walker Cheatham. Terry J. Viespool. <laughs> Simon Way. <laughs> Katie Williams. <laughs> Lewis Yaxley. Martin Yule. <laughs> For a foundation degree, I present Anjali Chumba.
and for a Diploma of Higher Education, I present Antonella Gagno. Sonia Kaur Dari Well. Nicola Dunlop. Tristram Hudson. Eduardo Moro. And Nicola Thompson. Well, I've got to tell you, there isn't a better way to spend a Friday afternoon. Absolutely fantastic. Having all those people smiling and just deserving the fantastic achievements that you've made. Well done again. Um, so in my, in my role, and I think I speak for everybody on the stage, we couldn't be prouder of what you, our graduates, have achieved. We know that that achievement is sometimes made against the odds with work, family and other commitments and sometimes other challenges um, in your life. And we see that that determination that you have, that ability, um, will mean that you'll go on, I'm sure, to make so many important contributions to society. I believe that this is the most amazing body of graduates anywhere in the world today. You've believed in yourselves throughout your studies, and all of the staff and the university believed in you. And that's everyone, your dedicated associate lecturers and advisors, the academics who write your courses, people that perhaps you, you, you're not aware of in the day-to-day -day learning, but the people like the designers and technologies, technologists that bring the courses to life, and the professional services that make the OU what it is, which I genuinely believe is second to none anywhere in the world. And now you've done your part. You've shown what you can do with this fantastic university and to achieve so much. I know that although today it was all smiles and celebration, I know there will have been times when it will have been tough, you'll have been juggling study and deadlines with many other demands um, in your life. But in a way it's the, the toughness of an OU degree that's the reason why so many employers tell us that they really like employing OU graduates. They, they recognize the determination and the driven nature um, of the students that go through an OU um, experience. Uh, but you know, we've been told there's one thing harder than being an OU student, and that's living with an OU student. <laughs> so, congratulations actually to everybody in the, in the audience today. I just want to spend a moment just to think back to the origins um, of the university and the family that you're now all, all part of for the rest of your lives. And, and thinking back, it was 1969 when the university started and there were pioneer students there that were taking a huge risk. There were pioneering staff that were ready to take a step into the unknown, putting their faith into a university that was using brand new methods of teaching before, before the internet, before some of the um, the tools that make um, distance education much easier these days. And of course, a university that would be open to everyone, a very different philosophy for a UK university. Many thought the OU would fail, but instead it's now one of the most successful universities in the world. You're joining more than two million people who have studied and graduated with us. And it's not just a university because of the work that our staff do, because of the lives that our graduates go on to have and the influence on society, 
It's actually a family that is a, a social movement. It's, it's our students that make the OU what it is. Uh, but we do owe a huge debt of gratitude to the vision and, of the university founders. So I just want to say a little bit about some of those. And particularly, foremost amongst them was Jenny Lee. And it was Jenny Lee who the then Prime Minister, Harold Wilson, gave the job of setting up the University of the Air. Of the Air. She was a woman who had had her own journey from a Scottish mining community to a Minister of State. And that shaped in no way, in no small way, the nature of the university that you see um, today. Jenny Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everybody, regardless of background, gender, or, ne or necessity. And it would do this whilst maintaining the highest academic standards. So you, our graduates today, have achieved those high standards of scholarship and professional practice that she was determined we'd maintain, while opening up this opportunity and experience to many more people than had ever been able to experience it before. She was determined, too, that we would be respected as a university that did research, make discoveries, inventing new products, enabling us to understand each other, and as I think as you saw from, from Michael's fantastic speech, uh, you're making a contribution to society in so many ways so that we can live together peacefully and without endangering our planet. Curiosity is what drives us as a university, and I'm so glad that you chose to join us in that most human of adventures, to learn and live, as it says, on the university um, crest. So completion of your qualification in today's um, celebration means that you join a community of open university alumni spread across the world. And we really want you to keep in touch with us. It is so rewarding when we hear of the successes that you go on to have. And of course, there are many ways in the future that you can contribute to the university. I can guarantee you, you will meet so many people that share a common open university um, experience. So please do keep in touch. Please do continue to think of us as your university um, for the rest of, the li of your lives. So as you leave today, I hope you'll become an ambassador for our, our university. I hope you'll stand with us with our values of social and environmental justice, our commitments to inclusion and diversity, and above all, our mission to be open to people, places, methods, and ideas. Do share your experiences with others. There are many other people that would love to be where you are today. So go out there and tell them just what a rewarding, if tough, experience um, this, this could be. We're hugely proud of you, and we're thankful for everybody who supported you through your journey. And before we just have one last opportunity um, to thank you, um, thank you all. I'd like to pay tribute to all the staff um, who are here on the stage. Uh, fantastic work that goes on at the Open University to make us um, what we are. So, for one final time, could I ask that um, today's graduates, if you can, could you please stand? One last standing. And family, friends, guests and supporters, let's give this amazing group of people one last huge round of applause. Fantastic. So, <laughs> so the proceedings of this degree ceremony have now been completed and I declare the meeting of the congregation closed. Would everyone who's able to please take a stand?